All right, Gruel Landfall. What are we trying to do here? Um, so, Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield, we get an effect, something like Green uh, Lotus Cobra. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, we get to add an extra mana of any color to our mana pool. So, the combo here is you ramp like hell, you get an Ancient Green Warden out, which allows you to play lands from your graveyard, uh, and then you get to trigger double Landfall, or trigger any ability based on lands coming into play. You need, here he's lithoforming. You sacrifice uh, X lands for each land sacrificed this way. You get to draw a card. You may play additional X lands this turn. The lands under the battlefield tapped. So the way around this is if you have a Lotus Cobra out with the uh, Green Warden, you get double the mana from your lands coming into play. So then you can effectively play out more spells. If you have Phylanth out, which is basically the new Avenger of Zendikar, you get tokens. Uh, which then get counters on them, and then with like Perforos you can gain haste. Uh, there's a lot of cool like interaction with that. Um, the one thing I did want to change, get rid of these Valakut Explosions. There's the Fling card from Zendikar that I wanted to add in. It's the land, um, it's like five mana Fling. Uh, Sacrifice this one. Uh, Kazul's. So with the Ayala, you can sacrifice it and um, burn your opponent out that way. So let's do that. And probably. Probably just another Ishaya. Okay, let's do that really quick. Okay, sorry. Changes on the fly. Um, so we have a bunch of ways to gain lands. Uh, Shatter Skull is a flip land that can deal damage. Um, land that could come into play, or we can use it as a fling effect. Cultivates to get lands. Ro Roiling Regrowth is Saka land. Get two lands into your uh, into play. Kazool Mammoth is a, either a 3-3, three, three, for three, that with landfall or just a tap land. Rada lets us play lands off the top. Rada is another way to combo out. You can um, use Rada's ability multiple times and then fling her. Uh, so kind of cool that way. And then um, the Symbios uh, will allow you to search or just be a land and then a Nuvian because we're a big mana deck. We are playing a few more basics. Um, because of the cultivate style effects. Uh, Radiant Fountain triggers twice off it. Uh, we have a pathway land, so let's run this one. Um, this one I'm most interested in seeing how it plays out. It's more of a theory deck, but in actual practice might be too slow. Tameless Nuts, thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. Maya plays early. Um, I mean, we got most of the combo. This helps us play lions. Ooh, love me some Lotus Cobra. Let's not screw this up. This art is so good on Lotus Cobra. I'm waiting for a high res to change my background on my desktop. Opponent playing the uglier Lotus Cobra. It's a little fetch here. Play out Rada. I think we want more green right now. Never actually played with Lotus Cobra before. Want to trade Cobra for Cobra? So if we 
draw a oh, well, we're going to draw a land anyways. I can play Green Warden out next turn. Valakit Explosion. Whenever a land enters the battlefield. So add red. Add green. Um, let's probably go Philothenth this turn, or go Green Warden. They have a Sweeper, I feel bad, but this is probably an Omnath deck. So next turn I can Fabled Passage to get a lot of lands, or a lot of triggers. Or I need to play out a land. These will get counters on them. So for each basic you control. So there's Omnath. So we could be seeing Omnath this turn. Get to draw a card. Hmm. So this enter tapped. So we don't have a way to play multiple lands per turn, and we haven't drawn into any of our like ramp effects, which is a little annoying. Attack in here. They have to trade their Omnath in order to get rid of Phylanth. I guess I had... Did I have lethal? No. Okay, so they're going to generate a lot of mana this turn. Not quite the combo yet. But we've gotten a lot of mana. Opponent's popping off with mana as well. Turns out this Lotus Cobra is a pretty sweet card. No! You're not allowed to do that. Certified opponent hates fun. Yep, minus six. We know we're not drawing a land. No. Opponent probably got us now. So this can tap for mana. Can Green Warden get back Fabled Passage, but save it for the Phylanth. They're gonna get a bunch of Scoot Swarms. Their out was literally Ugin. The nice thing is our stuff's pretty high, so they need a couple turns of plussing. But they're just gonna keep spamming these tokens. I actually think the play might be Phylanth, just go wide. We got Uro back. 
guess my ode is my Ugin. They don't have the new cards from the set yet. Um, so the choice is here. Do I take an extra token? Which I think we do. They can zero here. But then they lose their tokens. And the hero's lithoforming. Okay, and they opt to zero here. So I'm gonna go green ward in this turn. Play the fabled passage. All right, while well, they're shooting. We don't have ways for trample, which is a little annoying. Oh, Shoot Swarm has CMC of three, so it doesn't get rid of their tokens. Let's see what we have on top. Yikes, yikes. Um, hope for the best, try to get litho farming. We don't have the Lotus Cobras, so we can't necessarily go off. We also don't have the Pliants. Uh, we still have the Fling effect, so that's something we can try for. But now they're up to enough life that it doesn't matter that Ugin was heartbreaking because now they're at 12 actually we'd be at 12 exactly so if we could draw the fling then we kill them they also have 40 tokens. No, now we can't kill them. I need my Ugin. Where is my Eugene? Eugene one time. You are not Eugene. All right, didn't get there. Their Eugene was better than our Eugene, as our Eugene never showed up. Maybe we want a second Ugin, just as cleanup. Probably don't want Perforos. Let's go second. Kazal's Fury. Like that game, our out was getting the fling effect. And trim down a five length, go up another Rada. I think playing lands off the top is relevant. It's virtual card advantage. Phylanth I misread and thought it was all your lands, not just your basics. We're going to have a limited amount of basics at each time. So probably not as relevant. Might be better with the shoot squarm, what the opponent was doing. No early ramp though. I think we got a mulligan. Sand's not looking too hot, folks. I'm 
probably go this tapped. I want to save ideally the fabled passages for like Lotus Cobra. Let's probably just make this a 3 3 next turn. Omnath. We dead. I don't think we're going to get to Ugin in time. Okay, well, the Green Warden's there. We have Kazul Mammoth. We gain the life. They need the third land. Terror of the Peaks. So this is the Genesis Ultimatum deck. Okay, there is Lotus Cobra. I can add a green and one mana short. So we're probably going to trade here. I'm going to hold this because I can get enough triggers, hopefully, just to wipe their board with Ugin. Provided that we're able to not die to Genesis Ultimatum. Turn too late, Lotus Cobra. Turn too late. Like, if we can survive, we have Ugin into the combo. May just force the combo if I can. Okay, so they're going to get some lines. The lions could generate more mana. They have the option of shooting as well. Oh, just each opponent. If we survive this turn, we're potential. Key is surviving this turn. I'm trying to not crack this fabled passage. We can keep this fabled. Her bunny, thanks for the follow. All right, so we're probably dead. Oh, we're not dead. We're not dead. Whole bunch of zero damage. Can we just resolve all here? Can they Genesis Ultimatum again? Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Not yet, bro. Um, green. Red. Red. Green. Um, OK, 
Okay, so I have six, and I can only do this to sack X lands. So I can't do it this turn, so I do need to Ugin. Try to get the litho forming going off next turn. Took too much damage. Hey Freebird, I have not. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, we've done. Sorry, just give me one sec. Minus five. Um, we've done blue white mill and green black uh, counters. This is our third deck. So I'm going to run this one. Uh, this is match two. We'll go, probably go about three matches. And then I will. So this. Um, red mana. Play this. We're going to combo next turn. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make coffee after this. Uh, take the dog out quickly. And then we'll be back. Give me a chance as well just to snip what we've done thus far. Get that loaded onto YouTube. Okay. See what the opponent's got. Cultivate. We're going to do it. Cultivate. Failed to find Cultivate. Nice. Nice. Lotus Cobra. Play a land. Red. Red. Red, green, green. So four, so two, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Green, red. We have seven line drops to make. Green, red. Green, red, phi length, counters, counters, green, green, fabled passage. Green, green, Fabled Passage. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go. Doesn't matter here, I don't think. We can search out basics. Um, I actually have no other plays because we didn't draw anything good. I could Kazandu. Guess that's fine. Um, 
Hit you for five. We didn't get their fling effect. I guess we do still want the Perforos, because if we pop off, then it's useful. Sick. We did the thing. All right, so do we want... I guess that was just kind of a bad draw. Like what we drew off it. I did like Ugin. So I think Ugin is probably where we want to be. How many lands? 24 is probably too many. Um, let's trim a mountain. Go up another Ugin. Um, so we are... Is this 1-0 oh or 1-1? One one? I think we're 1-1. One one. Uh, we'll... I'll update all the deck lists on Aetherhub as we kind of make these modifications. A lot of them were first drafts, so now that we're playing with things, some numbers seem better. Gallon deleters. I'm a simple man. I see Lotus Cobra I play. Ha two or three combo cards in play here, which is nice. Ugin can help us catch up as well. So I guess in the end, it's non-deterministic, the combo. This is better afterwards. We generate a lot of mana. I actually like the Fable Passage here because it can let me create a mana with the Lotus Cobra. But I don't have to fetch with it yet, so I can kind of bank it for later. Actually, that does the same, but also lets us scry. Oh, we basically have the combo in hand now. This is Green Warden, not the, uh, the whatchamacallit. No attacks here. So Fabled Passage will let me Green Warden this turn. And then this Nahiri should allow me to after refill my hand for the second. Of note, Rada has first strike during our turn. It's like mono green stompy of some sorts. Doesn't matter, add green. Get another green source. Perfect. I got another Fabled Passage on top that lets me generate more mana for this Nahiri. Sideboard-wise, I'd play stuff like Storm's Wrath, uh, probably another copy of Ugin, play some Scorching Dragon Fires, perhaps. I think there's that two mana deal for exile to planeswalker creature can also be relevant. Let me do my thing, opponent. The lack of counter spells in this list makes me happy. Okay. 
Six mana. Ashaya. With the Viv minus, probably gets like Questing Beast. Shoot Squarm. These tap for mana afterwards, which is kind of cool. Okay. We might need to Ugin. Uh, we could probably Ugin after we pop off. Because we can Ugin 5, keep Green Warden. No, the fling's on top. This generates an extra mana. But I don't have the fling kill anyways right now. Red, red. 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 So X equals seven. I oh, know we should do, yeah. No, X equals five, because we only have five lines. That lets us store some mana. Um, so then what we'll do... This gains us some more life. Um, let's go green, green. Don't think we want... that inner tapped sorry thinking through the lines I'll add one more land so I have 10 mana right now I can cultivate and Ugin Arena couldn't handle it. And then we play Rada. All right, that was a turn and a half. That's really annoying. Ricky Salmi, thanks for the follow. That was a sweet turn nonetheless. Play out a whole bunch of stuff. We now know Arena could only handle so much. Yeah, they got Gem Razor. Oh, we have the Fling. So 
So we draw the fling next turn. Got a lot of lands in hand. So I think we just play this out. Plus Ugin. Just attack in. So basically I can activate Rada next turn and then fling Rada at our opponent. Using these fabled passages as extra landfall triggers. Okay, we got a henge. I got a scoose. So it's just like mono green, stompy stomps. Sorry for those who just got back in. Arena crashed, OBS crashed when we were adding all that mana. Between the scoot swarms and our just mana production. I think we want scoot swarm in this deck. Seems kind of funny. Just make like a metric ton of tokens. So what we can do here, play a land, bunch of landfall triggers. Green, red, sacrifice this, get some landfall triggers. Just eat something with your scavenging ooze. <laughs> so our mammoth is a fifteen fifteen. Nope, we want to target our opponent and sacrifice the Mammoth. 15 shot them. Plus we got attacks, plus we got Ugin. And that's a GG. Lotus Cobra certified busted. Don't think we have anything else in the yard that they can eat, and their graveyard's empty. You're dead. You're dead. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. All right, we'll run one more with this deck. I think I want to try the Scoot Swarm. Maybe instead of the Phi Length. Scoot. Let's go three scoots. Cut Rada. Let's try this. 
Actually, yeah. Do we need haste god? But you need to hit the haste god. I think even just creating that many tokens is probably lethal. Like just on the kickback. Because the god otherwise is just like really bad. We're not really throwing things in the way to sacrifice. Kind of annoying. I can't, because uh, it crashed, I have to uh, like merge all the videos. I can't just transfer it from uh, Twitch to YouTube. Math Mathemus. This is a keep. No combo pieces, but we have early ramp. Kazandu. Turn Timber can help us find a combo piece. See how this game goes where we don't have Lotus Cobra? If we're professional, we draw Lotus Cobra here. Lotus Cobra. Mm, nah. We'll shuffle anyways, so Ugin won't be at the bottom. I just don't think we're on an Ugin turn just yet. Opponent is a professional. They drew Lotus Cobra. Probably add green with this. So there was the idea of Dryad, but when you run out of lands, it's not as good. I think um, Arada being able to play lands off the top is better because it's card advantage. Like opponents at two cards now. Um, I can Rada here. Let's Rada. Gives me a blocker, and then I can decide if I want to play the land off the top or not, and then cultivate. This way they can't really attack in. Why are they just Shatter Skull? Okay, well, they're down cards now. I do think we cultivate here. Mm. Enter tapped. Save the three life. I could Kazandu Mammoth and cultivate this turn and then turn Timber Symbios to try to find the c something. Dude, I don't know. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. Okay, opponents on the Nahiri plan. Let's see how they go off with theirs. They only go three lands, which is interesting. So we do have Rada. Let's play Rada. I think I want to keep the fling card in our deck. So I'm going to play the forest and then cultivate here. Ugin on the top. Opponent just doesn't want to play anymore. Very strange they didn't do it for more. You had the lands, you just get extra draws. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm gonna go make some coffee. I'll probably be back in like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna take my dog for a quick walk. Um, do you have, I think I like this shell as kind of the final. This deck was really fun. And like Lotus Cobra is busted as hell. Uh, let's see who's on right now, if we can give a quick raid.
see who's alive. Let's give, check out Titans. Smash, another content creator on Aetherhub. And uh, I'll get the first three videos up. So we had a mill deck, a, what did we play? Mill, Golgari counters, and this Gruel landfall. Uh, when we come back, we'll be playing Golgari counters. Sorry, we'll be playing Omnath, Winota, Clerics, Rogues. We got a whole bunch today, and then we'll brew some more decks. Gruel landfall was sweet. I uh, appreciate everyone stopping by, and let's go check out Titans.